Hello, Grass Valley Kindergarten, Miss Spell here to do a mini math lesson with you. Mrs. Keller and myself, Mrs. Wolf, would love to be there with you to teach you a lesson, but because we can't, we decided to um, record some video lessons for you to see. So this week I'll be teaching lessons, and the next coming weeks we'll have Mrs. Keller and Mrs. Wolf teach, so you can see all of our faces, um, just kind of like you would be able to see at school. Today for our math mini lesson, our learning target is I can tell how many more to make 10. We're going to be using different combinations of numbers to make 10. So we're gonna be using addition, subtraction, however we can to get different ways of making the number 10. This is gonna be a fun game, but you might need to pause the video soon to go grab a few supplies if you haven't done so already. The things you will need are a bag of any kind, but it has to be a bag that you do not see through because we're gonna have objects in here and you're gonna need to use math to solve problems. And if you can see through the bag, then it will be too easy for you. So we'll need a bag you do not see through and 10 small objects. These are objects that are small enough to fit in your hand. So things like Legos, pennies, dice, candies, any small types of things. The 10 items I've chosen are 10 marshmallows. Now, if you choose to use food, or anything that you think you need to ask permission for, make sure you talk to a grown-up before using them. So count 10 items that are small enough to fit in your hand and a bag. If you need to get those things real quick, pause the video, go grab them, and then come back. If you already have them, then keep on watching. All right, Miss Bell has her bag and 10 items, but I need you to help me count to make sure I have 10, because if I don't have 10, then this is not gonna work. So will you help me count 10 marshmallows as I put them into the bag? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I have 10 marshmallows in my bag. Now, if you wanna give it a good luck shake, you can. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna reach my hand and grab marshmallows. I'm not gonna count, I'm just gonna grab. No peeking either. All right, I have my marshmallows. One, two, three, and four. Now what we need to do is work together to find if I had 10 marshmallows to begin with and I took four of them out how many marshmallows are still in the bag? Now I'm not gonna peek in the bag, I'm gonna use math to help me answer that. So one way we can answer this question is with subtraction. Ooh, we're gonna take away. So how many marshmallows did we start with in the bag? 10, we started with 10. So I'm gonna write the number 10. 10 marshmallows. How many marshmallows did I take out of the bag? One, two, three, four. I took four marshmallows away, so I'm gonna say take away four. Now we have to answer how many now are in the bag? This is like the bag. How many are in the bag? We don't know the answer and we have to find out. I'm not peeking. I'm gonna set my marshmallows down and I'm gonna use a math tool that's built into our body. Perfect for this game. Fingers. I have 10 fingers, 10 marshmallows. So I have five and five and 10, okay. So Miss Spell had 10 marshmallows in the bag. She reached in and took four of them away. So I have 10, I'm gonna take four. So I'm gonna put down four fingers. One, two, three, four. How many marshmallows are inside the bag? We can count every finger. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Or we can say, I already know there's five here. Five and one more is six. So if Miss Bell had 10 marshmallows, I took four out. How many are in the bag? Six. Let's check. Let's see. Maybe it's gonna be like magic. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great job, mathematicians. So if we had 10 marshmallows, Miss Bell reached in and took four out. We have six. 
inside the box which or the bag which we did count now there's another way we could solve that by using adding so what we could do is miss bell reached in and she grabbed four marshmallows i did grab four marshmallows we know that there are 10 marshmallows inside of the bag we put them in there you helped me count them there were 10 all together Miss Bell grabbed four of them. So now we needed to figure out how many were in the bag. Four plus what number equals 10? One way we could use that with addition is again our fingers. They're such handy tools. We had four, four marshmallows. I reached in and I grabbed four. We need to see how many fingers or how many marshmallows are still inside. So once we have all 10 of our fingers up, we'll know that we'll have 10. But we have to see how many were in the bag. So Miss Bell grabbed four. How many are still in the bag? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I had four and I lifted six fingers up to make 10. So if I grabbed four, how many were still in the bag? Six, because Four marshmallows plus six in the bag equal 10. So we're gonna take all 10 of our marshmallows. We're gonna make sure I like to count each time to make sure I didn't lose one. We're gonna start over and grab a new handful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Beautiful. Now one way you can play with family members is you could try to make it like a game and say, okay, I have 10 marshmallows. I'm reaching in and I'm grabbing a handful. All right. If I had 10 marshmallows and I grabbed one, two, three, four, oh, I dropped one, five. Let's make sure we count again, Miss Bell. I dropped a marshmallow. One, two, three, four, five. This time, Miss Bell grabbed five marshmallows. And you play games with me at home. If I had 10 marshmallows all together and I have five in my hand, how many are in the bag? And then your partner can guess. So let's do it again. We'll start with using subtraction. All together, you help me count. There were 10 marshmallows in the bag. Miss Bell reached in and I took out, these are big marshmallows, so it's hard for me to hold all of them in one hand, five marshmallows. 10 marshmallows take away five equals how many left in the bag? <sighs> hmm, we're gonna use subtraction. Let me get my fingers ready. 10 marshmallows, I took away one, two, three, four, five. How many do you think are in the bag? Five. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, and five. Five marshmallows are left when you have 10 and you take away five. So 10 marshmallows take away five equals five. If we wanted to use the addition with that, Miss Bell took five marshmallows out how many more are still in the bag if we want if we know there are 10 all together again you can use your fingers i took five out how many fingers do i need to lift up to make 10 all together how many this is like my bag how many are in this mysterious bag miss belt took out five there are still one two three four five marshmallows in the bag to make 10 all together so that you can see, ladies and gentlemen, as you reach in, you might grab one marshmallow. You might grab all 10 marshmallows if you have smaller marshmallows. You could grab three marshmallows. You could grab seven. These are going to be all different ways to make 10. That's why this game will always change. You'll always have different numbers. You'll always be working different ways. You can use subtraction and addition, and it's a fun game to play with somebody at home or if everyone's busy working on homework or there's other things going on. This is a game you can play with yourself. Miss Bell just played by myself. I also played with you. It's a fun game. So again, we're focusing on different ways. This is our learning target. It says, I can tell how many more to make 10.
right here to make 10. So if I have 10, this is how many? These are different ways to make the number 10. Have fun with this at home. Challenge yourself if you want to. If going to 10 is you find not as challenging as you want it to be, put 15 marshmallows in the bag. Or if that's you need a little more challenging after that, go for 20. Stretch yourself, but make sure it's in that comfort zone so that way you're still learning, you're still growing, but it's not too hard where you get frustrated. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great time. Keep working with your math and have fun.